What's up, guys? Uh, welcome to our first uh, YouTube uh, series. This is our youth engagement series. I am Chris. I will be your guys' host for today. Um, with me, I have Charlie and Amada. So uh, how are you guys doing today, guys? Hey, everybody. I'm doing good. It's nice to be out in the sunshine a little bit before this, and I'm still hoping to get back outside. Uh, this youth engagement series, I'm really excited and looking forward to doing this getting to know some of your guys' hobbies as well as um, some of our viewers out there and the kiddos and youth that are within our community. And yeah, Charlie, you got anything to say? Yeah, welcome everyone to our youth engagement series, episode one. This is gonna be really fun. I'm excited personally, get away from the academia literature type of talk and just relax and be myself a little bit more. And I know how important that is for the kids out there. So I really encourage the parents who are tuning in or even if there's some kids turn it, tuning in right now to mark your calendars Tuesdays, because this is going to be a fun time to kind of just have fun in these kind of crazy times. You know, I think that's important to like still show that we can have fun despite the circumstances. And we're looking forward to kind of relating back to you kids because it's been a while since we've seen you all. We also care about you guys enough to know that it's not safe to really hang out as much as we'd like. And this is our way of showing that we're still here for you guys and do our best to kind of show you how resilient we can be. So I'm really excited and thank you guys for having me. Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, we This the series is to kind of hear what, this first series is hear back from you guys, see what you guys want, see what you guys would like us to talk about or what kind of YouTube uh, videos you would like to see. We are gonna have a live, a live recording with us three and other people every Tuesday at one. And we are also going to post non-live videos on our YouTube that you guys can look at, you guys can poke fun of, you guys can do stuff like that. We are also going to have uh, different challenges for you guys. So our first challenge to, for um, that I have for all you guys is, as Charlie and Amada, this is a surprise for you guys that I haven't even told you guys yet. Our first challenge for everybody is to see who can do 20 push-ups. You don't have to do it right now, but we are going to, if you can do 20 push-ups, we are gonna have, have us send us a video, send it to our Facebook page, send us to our Instagram, Red Two Feathers. We are gonna have a challenge for you guys each week. So our first one is doing 20 push-ups. And if you can't do, do as many as you can, I wanna see Charlie do it, Shea Amara do it, and you're gonna see me do it as well. So anything like that, that's some stuff we're gonna have. Um, you, think, you guys think you can do it? Oh yeah. Sure. I uh, think so. <laughs> so if uh, you guys out there on the, the YouTube verse, if you guys can do it uh, or have any ideas of what you guys wanna do for challenges, let us know. Uh, we have a list of a bunch of them. And we're gonna give it you guys once a week, even maybe more if you guys get a good suggestions. Um, we also gonna start on. Uh, I have a couple of things that we should, I want to do, but Amada, Charlie, what do you guys think would be fun for uh, the kids and fun for us to do while we're stuck in uh, quarantine? Alrighty. Well, one of the things too I want to add on for the challenges is that we what it. During this week's, each as it goes, we're also going to be giving out prizes for some of these challenges completed. Um, there's not really, right now, this is kind of the first open challenge, but it'll get more specific as it goes. And so be on the lookout for gift card options, stuff like that, just little cool options in that sense. Um, but yeah, for this, this virtual series, some of the stuff that I like to do, I would like to bring into this. So if um, any interest that you guys also like, I would like to expand on it. And if it's something that I'm interested in that somebody else also has something, be awesome. But like snowboarding, athletics, uh, sports, I've coached soccer. So and skill wise, skill sets for stuff, uh, basketball. I also do snowboarding, um, learn how to pack your backpack. If you go backpacking, knots, thought of gardening, um, I've also have a master food preserver certification, so I can do some dehydrating. Um, I have a dehydrator too, and you can do that with your oven at home. So it doesn't even need to have, um, the actual dehydrator, but, um, those are some of the little options I've been thinking too. Um, and 
there also are some, I'm trying to think of some cultural aspects too to tie into. I've been thinking of doing some sign language, but trying to tie it in with language as well. Um, and so hopefully I can bring that out in this, but yeah, those are some of the ideas I have. Yeah, that sounds really fun. I mean, I'm interested just as an adult. So I think that's something that can broaden our audience. So that's really good. Um, some of the things that I like to consider is, I know that for parents, this could be like, well, man, not like now I'm not ever going to get my kids off the off the screen, whether that's an iPad, phone, or laptop. We could also incorporate challenges that'll get you outside and kind of really get you engaged in like, you know, things to mitigate these challenging times. As much as we do want to shelter in place, it is important to get outside and, you know, use some of that energy that you may have. And I think one, one of the ways that we could help you guys as uh, mentors and faculty of Two Feathers is to just go plant different, I mean, not plant, but like, I know that there's like marble finding challenges out there where we could just go hide some things and give you guys some tips and hints on these broadcasts. And hopefully that will get you guys out and engage in a safe way. You know, I understand that that might mean people might show up to the same place, understanding all the goals and stuff. So stuff like that, I think would be really fun and help you. It could even be like, take a picture of your favorite spot in Hoopa and McKinleyville, Arcata, like things that you think are meaningful there's different challenges because I know we live in a time where social media and different type of forms of technology kind of are fun. You know, I see a lot of different challenges that could be fun. And, you know, I'm not no TikToker, but, you know, I think those things are kind of cool for the kids. And we're going to do our best to make sure we're meeting what you guys want and what would be fun and engaging. So those are some things that I have in mind. And also just like ways to kind of make being a productive um, kid or, help her around the house. I think we can get creative with that as far as like challenging everyone to do a, a chore that you don't want to do or, you know, just try and really res be responsive to where our families are at in these times because that's who we have right now is our families and we got to do whatever we can to make sure we're all having fun and doing our best to embrace these hard times. So we're really looking forward to some feedback, whether that means we come back and check in on this, the comment section, we just really want to put this out there. So then there's some um, space carved out for the kids because I know that's something that we've been wanting to do for a while now. So thank you both for helping us put, put helping me put this together. Chris, thanks for paving the way. Throw it right back to you. I will tell you guys for a fact, it's gonna take a lot to get me to dance, to get me to TikTok, but we'll see. I'm not I'm not guaranteeing I won't do it, but I can dance, so I'm gonna have to learn first. Um, those are great suggestions. Those are great. Uh, ideas if you guys on the youtube verse have any uh ideas of what you guys want to do or what you guys want us to do we will we love to hear them we we'll love to take them we're also gonna have different uh highlight different people who work at two feathers so we're gonna have interviews with different people like our mentors like amada like charlie there's also more we're also gonna have interviews with some of our counselors they don't know it yet but this is a warning to them if they they're seeing this you're going to have interviews our administration you're going to have interviews everybody at two feathers are going to have interviews with us so they better prepare for that there's also going to be a questions that if you kids or you families want to ask us anything this is where you will do that we'll answer all the questions that you got oh not all the questions most of the questions you guys have we uh if you guys want to get to know us more want to get to know what we do for fun uh, Amada, like Amada said, she's into sports. I know I'm into sports. Charlie's into sports. Uh, one of the things that I really wanted to do and something that I want to see if you guys want to do is also do sports stuff, like Charlie said, outside. But there are workouts and other stuff that we can do. That's why I had the first challenge be 20 push-ups. Just simple stuff that we can do to get you guys to do and simple stuff that we can get to go together separate, but at the same time. Um, let's see, there are stuff that we want to hear from you guys. Uh, Amada, I know that you are working with a lot of um, females, a lot of girls. So I know that it might be different than working with boys like me and Charlie work with. Is there anything that you think that would be specific that they might want to want to do it this time or they might want to do for fun that we may not want to do because I know I don't want to dance just stuff like that well 
I think just the physical exertion of it, like the 20 push-ups, is a good amount, I think, rather than like 80 or 50, like just kind of <laughs> limiting the stuff with the challenges. Cause I think that's something that a lot of, I get kind of like, whoa, I can see my brothers, they always get all hyped up and they're like going up there. But um, I don't think there's too much limiting. I say we should all try some stuff, but um, a lot of our, oh, it's hard because like in quarantine, I'm trying to think of stuff too limiting within the quarantine status. Cause a lot of them are like into hiking, all of that. But again, there are ways that we can ch like showcase too. We're not gonna be in quarantine forever. Um, so we can talk about hiking places where we've gone, share pictures where you go with your family in case you've gone out um, just to do something within with your family athletic out just to get moving, stuff like that. But um, I will keep that on the radar if I do. But it sounds like all the kids, everybody just wanted to like tune in and kind of see what it was about first and check it yeah. out. But I think it sounds good. And another thing uh, that I'm just thinking, I just want to remind is, um, I know everyone's not down for the live thing. So one thing that we're going to do too is just to make productions, video productions. And so depending on the participation and, you know, like I'd mentioned, maybe it's to take a picture of your favorite place or your favorite flower or your favorite rock or whatever the th favorite may be, we could use that as a resource to put into a production we later produce from our YouTube channel. And so that we're just really open. That's what I love about Kind of where we're at you know it sucks that i can't sing see, see everyone person to person i'm very personal but i think one thing that i'm doing my best to embrace is just how flexible we are as an organization to still meet the needs of you know the youth and family that we really care about and this is a fun way to like get to know them because i know a lot of the kids a lot of kids are just really into like youtubing and like just being you know, heard, you know, and I think that's an important narrative for kids is just the power that comes with just being heard and having a platform. And that's very much what we're trying to do here is give them, a, give you all a platform to talk, to talk about who you are, you know, because I think, you know, with school and all the things that are, we're like forced to be balancing all the time, it could be, we could lose ourselves in that. And I think that's what we're trying to embrace in this, this, these series is we really miss you guys too. And so I think, It'll just like give us some more feel be like, all right, yeah, it's been a while since I've seen you all. So it's fun, you know, and I think it keeps me young. It keeps everyone else young. And we, um, that's a lot of who, you know, in our speaker series, a lot of people are saying what makes them hopeful is the kids. And I think that is consistent with what we're trying to accomplish here. So we really can't wait to hear from everyone. Um, but yeah, I think that's what I have right now, Chris. Uh, I just got a comment from uh, one of my kids saying they want to see my shoes. Um, <laughs> see them. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to post or if I'm going to show my shoes just because I don't know. We'll see. Um, but that is something that I do want to talk about, try to get to know you guys as people and get to know the people at Two Feathers, not just as workers, not just as counselors, not just as mentors, but as people. And want to get to know what you guys do for fun or even the kids. I want to know what the kids got, what you guys want to do for fun. Like you guys want to go and look at all my shoes. That's fine with me. Can't take any, but I mean, if you guys want to go and look at the, go hiking, do stuff like that, please let us know. We want to be as flexible. We want to have as much fun as possible because the more fun we can have, the longer we get to do this, the longer we don't have to sit in meetings. So <laughs> the less we're sitting in meetings for us, the better. Um, uh, let's see, is there, I got another comment saying that uh, people want to do stuff like, they want to see if we can cook. I personally am not a very good cook. Amada, Charlie, I don't know how about you guys, but I bet we have somebody on our staff who knows how to cook and can post some stuff like that. So if we can convince them, I think we can convince some people to get some cooking lessons for us. What do you guys think? I think, I bet you, I can somewhat do, I'm into like the dehydrating, preserving side of it, not the like chef it up, or have a gourmet meal in front of you. But um, I like to do the fun stuff where I, I pull out like dehydrated stuff where it's like a snack kind of thing. But um, I bet you there's somebody in Two Feather staff that can cook up some hot stuff and really show it off and their show their skills off. So that, and that'll be fun too. Like, I, it'll be cool to see random skills or hobby where you're like whoa like you really could do that are you like I didn't know for instance how many shoes you had until our videos and I was like whoa <laughs> and that's a hobby though that's a, like that's totally a collection so I would count that 
Yeah. Charlie, yeah. what do you think? You think you could? I think, I mean, I'm definitely your like chicken, veggies, and rice kind of guy, you know, nothing too crazy, but hey, healthy. Um, I know that Bubba, he always sends me some good snaps of different, I think he sent over some wonton ingredients and I'm like, what, dude, you know how to make wontons? So I think I'll sign him up just on this conversation. And <laughs> in another um, comment, I'm seeing the comments on the screen as, I, as I'm talking here and Frankie Tripp was saying, teach him to make some sushi. And I think that's a good idea because some folks who are lucky and privileged to have some smoked fish, I think that's a good medium to start with and some rice. So hopefully that's something that is accessible for some people. And also she made this suggestion on um, online tutorials for Photoshop and other types of programs that kids can learn to do. And she, she said, I know I struggle with Google Docs or even know how to edit videos. So like programs like that, I think that's so good, some good feedback and very much in the direction of where we're trying to go as far as just embracing the desires and needs of kids, you know, cause <clears throat> the pockets and stuff I'm sure get old, you know? And so this is a fun way to kind of express yourself that, you know, school doesn't tend to uh, make time for. So that's a good idea. Thank you, Frankie, for that participation really goes long ways and Frankie's been tuning into our series all all since we started this so shout out to Frankie. Nice thank you Frankie um thank we might even need to give you put you on one of our uh one of our our live stuff so better watch out. Um, yeah actually that reminds me she's making us up some pretty cool cut language like count one to ten and colors and stuff so I might have to see what she's all about. That might be one of our challenges that's perfect and I will admit Cooking, uh, making sushi is a lot better than me making PB and J. So if somebody can do that, that would be perfect. Um, another suggestion that we got was uh, different arts and craft stuff, but culturally, I know that uh, some of my boys want to do something like eel hook making or stuff like that. I don't know about what the girls might want to do, just something cultural arts and craft wise that we can do too. Yeah, like, be, be, well, like, even set having, like, small beading kits or something in the sense of, like, just something to do at home or, um, but do be specific, like a beaded hair clip or, like, in the sense, something where we can give them the supplies for it or send it out. Because um, it'd be cool to continue this, hopefully, maybe not as extensive, but continue this after the quarantine, too, um, mm -hmm. and do that. So hopefully it'll limit our, or actually open up our restrictions and not have so much, because I know right now it'd be hard to get those little that stuff to them in the sense, but we would like to be open up to all this or just have small recipes that we can send out or like gather these ingredients beforehand, stuff like that, where I think um, it's really expanded. But again, um, parents, aunties, cousins, everybody, like so different people that are watching, it'd be nice just to get all your guys's um, input and intake, um, all ages too, just because I feel um, it's nice to give all the knowledge out there and get that knowledge base as well. And I think it just opens up the door for all of us too to gather all this. So, yeah, it's perfect. Um, Charlie, I know that you you've been doing some weird, like not weird, <laughs> some nice arts and craft stuff. Some some not. So, what have you been doing too? Um, I've been I've been doing. Some, I I like to draw a little bit, like sketch. I mean, I'm not no good artist or anything, but I think it helps me express myself and keeps my mind occupied in enough to where at least it'll distract me from whatever I'm feeling that may be kind of inhibiting my good spirit. So I think that's something fun that I always like to do. And it's just like, you only need a pencil and something to write on, you know, definitely not write on the walls or nothing because I know how that goes. Um, so just, you know, some type of medium, I think that's fun to express yourself in that way. I know one thing that I'm trying to get better at is with watercolor. I think that's something I always liked as a kid. So just trying to find that youth in me to get back to um yeah let's see and I know I have a little mini basketball hoop so that's my my safe haven I just shoot around the house and feel like I'm finding my stroke in that so it's pretty fun <laughs> but other than that like we can get real creative I know I'm getting up there now so my imagination's pretty pretty uh dormant but I have a, I have a basketball hoop too. We can play horse if you really want to, Charlie. We get as many people as we want in there. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. We can get like a whoever has like a hoop and whatnot. We can do like a horse challenge type of thing. So that's a good thought. I see some questions coming or some comments coming in now. Oh, I, 
I know I, for me, oh, I've been- Go ahead, Amato, go ahead, Amato before Charlie okay. goes. Before, go ahead, right before this too. I have, um, when we were doing the um, hiking, a lot of the youth were into those keychains and I could do an episode how to make those too, or just the all knots, because you don't necessarily need just paracord. You can use any type of rope or string. And so that would be something too, if kids are interested in, because key, key rings you can get from anywhere too, in the sense. So I know that was really cool. And some of the kids were saying they were really interested in learning that and knots in general, because I know some of you guys do fishing and going out there and stuff and boat knots and a lot of them could be adverse. I use it for backpacking, but that was something too before I forgot. <laughs> That's perfect because I barely know how to tie my shoes. So the more knots I know, the better. <laughs> uh, what were you saying, Charlie? You got some comments for us? Yeah, yeah. And I just wanted to reiterate that how cool that would be, Amada. I mean, I I know I know a little bit of knots. So I'm like, dang, I'd really like to, like to know the monkey knot or like just different knots. I'm like, oh, I know it's a slip knot and double knot and I think that's about it, but yeah, the comments. Um, and, and this is from Teresina. I know for me, I've been stationary during quarantine. Any chance can we get an at-home workout session? Maybe Arcade Lifted or Warrior Institute? That's a brilliant idea. That'd be cool to kind of support local businesses too and local efforts to kind of reimagine what health is in native country. So that's a really good idea. I think we'll brew on that a little bit and see what we come up with. It starts with the 20 push-ups, too. You want to do push-ups, you know, we got you. Yeah. Get it down. There you go. Back to the basics. Um, another comment by Frankie Tripp is videos for flying fish, cleaning eels, tanning hides, maybe even challenge the kids to do their own. Also make art, art materials and scrap. An online poetry slam. I think that's a good idea. And so... That reminds me of a potential uh, production that we are we have talked about with Bubba Riggins, and he's he's testing his luck with making a, a a gill net, and so I think that would be a good way to kind of break out that cultural practices type of segment, and then piggyback off that with different different local community members who are willing to dedicate and donate their time and knowledge to teach that because that's something that even I could learn. And that just comes back to the importance of what we're trying to accomplish as an organization that values our, tr our traditions and also like contemporary ways to kind of engage with kids. So those are all really good suggestions. And I think we're about to hit the ground running, y'all. Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, the more suggestions we can get, the better. Uh, we, want, we just want you guys to be as creative as possible, have as much fun as possible. You, know, you wanna be as stupid as possible. No, actually not, let me rephrase that, don't be as stupid, but have fun, be yourselves. Uh, don't annoy your parents, annoy us instead, we'll be here. If you guys wanna to talk to us, please let us know. Um, we, as before we sign off, uh, I wanna ask both of you guys what you guys have been doing about uh, your toilet paper. I know it's a random question, but how you guys been getting your toilet paper? Because I know that people on there, they wanna, they're trying to find ways, not just to be creative, but to avoid seeing other people. So we're gonna talk about toilet paper, just trying to keep you guys, keep you guys having something fun to talk about. <laughs> I can start off, I guess, on this one. Um, I kind of have a household with my siblings still and grandma. So we got a bigger household where I got to make sure we have enough toilet paper for everybody. And I usually do the Costco trip. So we're usually well stocked up. And right before this happened that week, I kind of grabbed two instead of one. And now we've just kept that flow and I've naturally had enough to where it stayed steady with just getting an extra, um, just getting one now, that one extra set us far ahead. So we've been solid and I go to Costco too. So it's the huge big ones. So and paper towels. Oh, you get lucky like that? I've gotten lucky. Haven't <laughs> it's been two weeks. We're still stocked. So, <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> I just, you know, buck off a sleeve. You know what I mean? Nah. I'm just, <laughs> uh, nah but I, we did, we got pretty lucky before everything kind of broke out. We went and hit up Costco. Just coincidentally, you know, just our usual, like every third trip to the grocery store usually means we got to go to Costco for those essentials. And, Luckily, we're still riding that out, given I just live with my partner, and so it's just two of us, so it, it's been lasting us pretty well. I think we'll be, I don't know how long we'll be in sheltered in place, but, you know, definitely limits our need to go to Costco, but I also know I've been out in the mountains with nothing, you know, and there's leaves and 
things that we can do to get ourselves through. And I think my sleeves will come in handy one of these days. I mean, as long as it's not poison oak, I think you're good. <laughs> um, see, you guys got lucky. I, uh, I had a, I, my, my dummy, I was like, oh, I'll be okay. I don't need toilet paper. About a week ago, I ran out and I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to get any. So I go to Costco. I uh, wait about half an hour in the line. They say they have it. As soon as I walk out, someone takes the last one. So just a, just a warning to everybody out there, you need toilet paper. Go to Costco before everybody else does. Um, <laughs> so, uh, and that's something else we're going to, going to talk about on these we're gonna we're gonna have fun we're gonna be ourselves we're gonna talk about random quarantine stuff anything you guys want to ask us anything you want to talk about we'll be here uh before we wrap up um i just wanted to say thank you everybody who watched i want to say that we're gonna have a lot of good stuff coming for you uh yeah, amada might have a youtube video coming up really really soon we'll see um amada you want to talk a little bit about that yeah um i don't have some hardcore editing skills, but I enjoy doing GoPro videos as I've grown up and I still have a GoPro. And so I took it along for our Trinidad head hike for the mentorship program and took some videos as well as all of the um, mentors included in a group chat, all their footage that they got. And so I kind of put it all into one video with a little song and have it go um, for everyone to see. And we'll be putting that on as kind of our little startup. But again, we're going to be doing just kind of introductions of um, Two Feather staff, administration, clinicians, all of that jazz, as well as um, our hobbies, interests that we want to get out there for you guys and what you guys are interested in. But yeah, that's pretty much. Nice. Uh, so before the last thing, before we wrap up, I know that I keep saying last things, but I got a lot of stuff in my mind, so I'm going to let it out. Um, Next time we are on here, next Tuesday, we're going to have a special guest, one of our other Two Feather staff. We don't know who it is yet, so our Two Feather staff, be careful. You might get a call. You might have to be on here with us. There is no saying no, so you better watch out. Um, and if you uh, parents or kids, anybody else wants to be on here with us too, we may be able to set that up. Um, you want to talk to us. You guys want to be part of this live. We are more than happy to have you guys. I don't know about Mata and Charlie, but I'm more than happy to have more people as possible. We are just going to go have fun, ask all the questions you want. We're going to ask you questions. Um, yeah, this is just to have fun. So, but uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. And I hope we get a little bit of a bigger crowd every week. This would be good. So tell your friends that are watching, <laughs> make sure to, it'd be a lot of fun. But please let us know what you guys want to do too, because it'll keep the content flowing and also keep us in the trends that are um, going and keep us with the trend set and stuff. <laughs> but Charlie, you got any words? Nah, I just hope to see you all tune in, start getting in the habit of seeing us every Tuesday because we know I'm looking forward to it. This is one of my ways to kind of be in therapy during, during these bizarre times. So I'd love to see a lot more engagement and I know that this is going to hit. So we're ready for y'all. Till next time. Yeah, see you guys.